Yeah, I know. The, the guy at the, in the hallway just asked me if I was Father Guido Sarduski. <laughs> I mean, come on. Communication breakdown. It's always the same. I'm having a nervous breakdown. It drives me insane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> little, little Led, Led Zeppelin. It's still September, Andy. I mean, come on. I mean, you know. I, all right, I see the red light. And you're giving me the arm circles, which that means only one thing, right? Live from New York, it's Saturday night. Da ba 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 da da ba 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 ya da 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 da. No, it's not. It's live from Great Falls. It's Monday morning. <laughs> it's Monday. It's September 23rd, to be exact, Andy. Well, I, I'm high on life this morning. Cloudy and, and, and already, like in the mid-50s, a little upper 50s already. Yep. Yeah, I did watch Saturday Night Live this weekend. That's uh, where this is all coming from. Uh, basically, I watch it anymore for the uh, the weekend update, about 15-minute segment with uh, Colin Jost and uh, Michael Che. Hysterical Saturday Night Live. Them two together, they have Absolutely nailed it, those two. I mean, come on. They're eating the dogs, tuk -a -tuk -a -tuk -a. they're eating the cats, tuk -a -tuk -a -tuk -a. they're eating the dog, 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 they're eating the cats, ba, 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 bow. I mean, them too. Jeez. You know? And, uh, the, 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 yeah, that's the song that I was there, there, there that's the, uh, that's the song about the uh, whole uh, proven false statement uh, that now, yeah, I mean, geez, the, the former president and the current president, if you ask me, are both meme worthy. Is that like, not James worthy, the former power forward, from the Los Angeles Lakers, but meme worthy, like I post on my Facebook page every day, memes, memes, memes. They're eating the dogs, they're eating the cats, wop a pop a pop bow. Yeah. Yeah, that, 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 that Colin and, and, and Michael. Well, Colin Jones, he's married to uh, uh, Scarlett Johansson. Yes, I. I yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I would know something like that. Yeah. And uh, Michael, Michael Shea, uh, he, he's not married, but they're, they're, they're funny. They do the weekend update. That's kind of what I do, isn't it, Annie? The weekend update. And uh, started old school. And I remember old school Saturday Night Live. I like it better in the old school. I'm Chevy Chase, and you're not. Yeah, it's it's yeah. The Chevy Chase was the first weekend update guy. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he, he was, and uh, he was the uh, 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 created it with the uh, co-writer with the uh, Al Franken. That's the same Al Franken, the former comedian, Saturday Night Lumley, uh turned state senator from Minnesota. 2009 from 2018. Didn't he have to resign because he said something? Okay. Um, yeah, like I said, Chevy Chase did um, the very first Saturday Night Live weekend update. Remember that? Remember they had Garrett Morris in the corner of the screen, like up here where the sign is, and Garrett Morris was being for the hearing impaired. But instead of doing sign language, Chevy would Chase would say like something like, "You know, today's the local news," and then Garrett would be like, "Today's the local news." Yeah, he'd be yelling it for the hearing impaired. Uh, <laughs> 
no doubt. Uh, he was the first one. Uh, there's a whole bunch of others. Uh, Jane Curtin did it for a while. Uh, 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 Charles Rocket had it. Uh, Dennis Miller. Uh, Kevin Nealon did it, and then you know newer you had Tina Fey and Annie, po Annie po uh, Amy po Amy Poehler, uh, uh, Jimmy Fallon. But uh, of course you can't say the Weekend Update without mentioning good old uh, yeah good old Norm McDonald. <laughs> now, if you remember right, not only okay, I like McDonald. His his whole. Uh, his whole deadpan uh, delivery, you know, it's just, uh, I love Lenore McDonald. But uh, not only was he taken off the weekend update during mid-season, okay, but was fired by, uh, uh, he was fired for about three years worth of, uh, O.J. Simpson jokes. I mean, Norm Macdonald, when he did Weekend Update, was all about, you know, O.J. Simpson killed the guys. You know, killed Nicole. And, 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 of course, he did, right? We know that. But, you know, Norm Macdonald was saying that back when the trial was going on and afterwards. And, and, and the funny thing is that uh, at the time, the NBC chief... Was it the chief executive, not the CEO, but one of the one of the big big brass? Uh, the, uh, what is it, Don, Don Oleheimer? Okay, Oleheimer. Uh, he was a long time friends of the O.J. Simpson family and all of that. And when uh, uh, you know O.J. Uh, when Dennis Miller or when Norm Macdonald, well, uh, take a breath, Andy. <laughs> When Norm Macdonald would not cease and desist with the old Jay Simpson's jokes on uh, Weekend Update after, like I said, three years, uh, he, uh, the Don Oldheimer told Lauren Michaels, he's like, fire him. And, and, and Lauren Michaels, you know Lauren Michaels, if, if he won't fire John Belushi or Chris Farley, he's not firing basically anyone. Uh, so Oldheimer did. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, the war went, so, and now that we, you know, now that we, you know, in, in retrospect now, and, you know, flash forward to now, we all know how the OJ thing, uh, turned out now, don't, did, don't we? Can I say OJ did it? I can't. Okay, OJ did it. But he's not eating the dogs. Do, 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 do. He's eating the cats. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. What a ridiculous rumor they started. Yeah, we covered it last week. Not a fact one to it. Not one fact to it. They know. They know it's not factual. They know it's not truthful. They continue to divide. Man. All right. So, before we get any further... We got to get a big, big thank you to our friends You're right down the hallway and down the stairs at the uh, Great Falls Gazette. That's our list, latest issue, is it? Andy, this is our latest one. This is Fridays. We don't have Mondays yet. We're here a little early, so Mondays is usually outside of the door after showtime. So, <coughs> this... Uh, do the, do the whole plot. This show is brought to you by Great Falls Gazette. All the local news, local reporting, and still only a dollar. Thanks, you guys. But we still haven't made itself to the cover of the Great Falls Gazette. I'm going to buy five copies for my mother. Five copies I'll buy if I get on the cover of the Great Falls Gazette, you guys. I'll buy five copies for your mother. My mom's passed away. So, anyway, big perfect, perfect trifecta this weekend for for me. Anyway, for uh, uh, for me uh, and the state of Montana, part part of it. I two or three. I might the team with the Montana State Bobcats. Montana's Grizzlies came from behind. Actually, they're seventeen down. Whew. Uh, and the 
Michigan Wolverines all came and got wins this past Saturday. Michigan, and, oh, gee. They, they, they won the first half, lost the second half, then way down at the very end of the game, with only 32 seconds left to go, fourth and goal, touchdown! Beat number, were they 11th coming in or 9? They're ranked higher than us. We're only 18, but yeah, we came away for the win. So Bobcats, Grizzlies, Wolverines all win. Whoa, Bobcats, Grizzlies, Wolverines. Oh, my. Okay. <laughs> so, Andy, let's talk Diddy. <laughs> We've got to talk Diddy. It's been on the news every day, everywhere, all over YouTube, all over social media. It's like, first of all, it's first of all, I'm sitting back there like, really? You guys are surprised? <laughs> really? Um, this is, you know, in case you've been, yeah, right, right, yeah, right, right. Anybody who anybody's been paying attention, yeah, right. Right, right, right. Uh, 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 in case you've been living in a van down by the river last Tuesday, was it last Tuesday? Late Monday? Late Monday, Tuesday morning. Music mogul, the music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. He was arrested at a hotel in New York City, uh, Manhattan. He came. He, he showed up. He knew this was coming. Uh, two weeks ago, yep, the searches started a while back. Uh, he knew it was coming, so he was in New York. Uh, he was charged. And you know, if you knew that you were charged, if if you came to don't you, you if you came to New York. And you knew that there was going to be charges pending, and the feds could be knocking at your door. Knock, knock. Who's there? The feds. Okay? You, you knew that they were coming. Why would you have baggies of, of pink powder just laying around? How would I know what the pink powder is? The, they haven't tested it. They found it at, at this other place in Miami, I believe, and it was uh, ecstasy. What is ecstasy? It's like mescaline. But it doesn't last as long. Okay. Whatever. Okay. So he was arrested, like I said, and, and he has been charged with uh, racketeering, sex trafficking, and basically the, the uh, transporting of illegal uh, 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 the illegal transportation across state lines to engage in prostitution. Is that the Man Act? That is the man there. That's a big one. All of them are big. Racketeering, sex trafficking, uh, the Man Act, prostitution. Uh, he's being held. You know, he offered his uh, 50,000 uh, million, what is it, 50 million dollar mansion in Miami as collateral. Uh, agreed to uh, monitoring and all that. And the judge is like, no, are you freaking kidding? You know, I mean, basically, a judge is like, have you seen the charges against you, dude? <laughs> so, uh, uh, isn't it Bad Boy Records that he had founded? He did, founded Bad Boy Records. Uh, the label, the feds are saying that he used, uh, you used, the, it's a billion dollar empire, okay? Uh, and he's always had those whispers every all the time, even way back when, with you know '99 with the shooting of Jennifer Lopez and, uh, outside the nightclub, and, you know. But he, he, the feds are saying that he used his business, uh, his, his empire, his profits, uh, his social influence, his influence, his intimidation tactics uh, to commit these crimes. Okay. Uh, the cow, the, the, now the, you know, the, there's so much that's going on with him that, you know, it's just like, geez, the, the, these, uh, these indictments now, they come just months after how many lawsuits, Andy? <laughs> how many? Several. A lot? A few. 
No, more than a few. A couple. No, more than a couple. <laughs> Several lawsuits. Um, the biggest, and they all began last November, uh, but there's been several lawsuits, but the first one that opened the floodgate, basically, was when uh, uh, Diddy's uh, uh, once uh, one-time girlfriend singer Cassie, uh, she's uh, known as Cassie, uh, her name is Cassie of, uh, Ventura, uh, like I said, she's just known as Cassie, she accused him of sexual uh, and physical assaulting her. Uh, during their relationship, she also accused them of sex trafficking. Okay, uh, and, 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 and that was in her lawsuit. Now, don't let's not forget. Okay, that uh, remember the Cassie Ventura video. Okay, that, do, you, do you remember that? Just, God, that was just disturbing as hell. Uh, what video am I talking about, Andy? You know, you saw it this morning. They might be asking. The video about, uh, from a Los Angeles hotel in 2016, um, which showed Sean Diddy Combs uh, beating, uh, dragging, uh, throwing stuff, dragging his then girlfriend also by the hoodie, you know, down the hallway. The, the beating, he was beating her, dude. He was kicking her. And he, he was hurting her. Okay, it's all caught on the, uh, this 2016. She's the one who filed the lawsuit. You know, he admitted it. You know, he had to admit it. It was, it was all on social media. It was on Facebook, on Twitter, on the news. So he had to come out. You know, he, he you know, he admitted it. He apologized. And he said he lost his temper uh, and his behavior. Uh, was unexcusable. Unexcusable, Andy. That's I. Okay. Um, yeah. Now, yeah, putting it mildly. Now, ugh, much real mild. Uh, now, the three count indictment that is against Cohn. Um, that that guy yeah, said, you know, the the, the sex trafficking and you know, that uh, they 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 go back. The three count indictment goes back sixteen years. Is what we're, what we're seeing. We were reading this morning. It started in two thousand and eight with an arson when the, the the car burned up. A car burned up, you know, and and and. and, and Diddy thought it was all right and smart to like brag to everybody and his girlfriend and everything. Yeah, I burned it up. Burn, burn, baby, burn, burn, baby, burn. Yeah, ooh, do, do, do. That's a burning inferno. Yeah, you don't admit things like that. You know, it's just like, you know, now it's in 2008, okay? So he admitted to everybody that he did burn this car up and there was like intimidation and, and things like that involved. <laughs> and don't, then in, in 2009, the sex trafficking, uh, the, the prostitution, uh, um, that's when that started. So, I mean, like I said, it was just like, like I said, just a minute ago, lawsuits galore. It's like, it's like Oprah, you know, it's like everybody's got lawsuits. You got a lawsuit. They got a lawsuit. I, it's D's. Uh, <coughs> what was it, Joy uh, Dickerson uh, Neal, uh, Rodney Jones, there's like a half a dozen Jane Doe's that are underage that are alleging uh, uh, all of these uh, uh, sexual assaults and, 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 and sex trafficking, uh, you know, he was on a, he was, I watched an interview the other day where he was talking to Conan O'Brien on a talk show, and, and Conan brought up parties, and he was talking about drugging people, locking doors, not Conan, uh, Diddy. Yeah, on, on the O'Brien, joking about, yeah, we locked doors, ha <laughs> ha. It's like, and then the indictments turn out that they did lock doors. Okay? Um. In the heart of the investigation, okay, with all of this criminal enterprise is going, are these uh, uh, freak-offs. 
freak out. Do, 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 do. The freak offs are like sex parties. Okay? Uh, they're, but they're not your run of the year. They're not nothing I've heard about. Okay? There's a video on uh, uh, you know, uh, Facebook where, and YouTube and all uh, everywhere on X and Twitter and now it's uh, people, white people at his party and there's this guy passed out. Uh, Diddy Combs admitted to drugging him. Um, if you don't know, uh, this pretty freaky. <laughs> this grabbed your attentions. Uh, this grabbed people's attentions. Uh, if you do not know, you're going to hear it again, if you do know. But during the search of Diddy's residence, thousands, we're talking tens of thousands of bottles of baby oil and lubricant, what did his lawyer say? Yeah, we go to Costco. Everybody buys in bulk these days. So he he went to Costco and bought, you know, bulk. It's like, got, it was a room. It wasn't like, when you think of, you know, someone's got a box, a, you think it would be in a box, but it was a room. He had a room full of just lubricants and baby oil. And 783. Yeah, can you imagine the officer that had to count those? Count those! 783 dildos, sir. <laughs> right there. And there's pictures of that, too. So it's like these freak-out parties. First of all, they had rooms of, um, you know, rooms of baby oil. 700, what's the count on that again, Amy? 783. I'm telling you, being the guy that had the count, gal, who, whoever had to count those, one, two, three, you get like the 500 or something, someone interrupts you. You know, you know 501, 502. Hey, did you see the football game that ended when Michigan won 27 to 24? You're like, ah, oh, shit. One dildo, two dildo. I mean, come on. <laughs> so, you know, they, they found just, you know, this horde of, of lubricant and dildos, but these freakouts were, you know, they were like, what, drug-fueled day-long, days for days long. Yeah, they, they were so exhausted that Diddy had IV stations hood up, ho hooked up. Sex parties that are so exhausting that you have IV stations to hook up, to recover. <laughs> Holy Moses, man. Now remember now, he had a real dumb habit. Hey! Why don't we photograph and record everything for evidence in case we get caught and the feds will find it? And that's exactly what he did. <laughs> he taped everything. And what he did is he used this sensitive and embarrassing and basically incriminated uh, uh, footage and, and films uh, as collateral uh, uh, for keeping uh, uh, the, the the victims quiet, you know, you can't say anything. Um, the, yeah, the, exactly. The, he'd use the tapes. He'd record things for his own pleasure. Basically, he'd sit there and and whack off while they're doing this and watch and filming people. And he's in the in the victims, and they are victims because he used force. The federal uh, government. Uh, the federal prosecutors that, you know, uh, were, were, yeah, it was all force, threats of violence, uh, engaging in, like I said, it's sex acts for so long, they had IV stations. Um, right, they used males. He used males coming in. Males were fun. Males were having sex with males and females and using it for evidence so they wouldn't say anything. Um, you know, like I said, he's he 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 he's he, he's filming everything while he's uh, uh yeah males are are you have an unconsensual sexual assault with other males females yeah 
Yep, 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 yep. Sure, I mean, come on, which sure makes uh, all this start, sort of make sense now that it kind of supports uh, uh, Kim Porter. And if you remember who Kim Porter is, Kim Porter is uh, Sean Diddy Combs' ex, uh, ex, who he has three children with. Okay, and before she died, uh, yeah, she's dead, isn't that convenient? Uh, before she died, she wrote and uh, used a flash drive. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. She had a flash drive, that was, that, and she wrote the memoirs. I mean, come on, I mean, you know, like I said earlier, we all did. I, it's not like Diddy was like, we didn't know that he did weird stuff, you know? But, like, freak outs? Freak out! Do, 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 do. They're eating dogs. They're eating. Yeah, they're just freaking out. Say, so, now, Kim Porter, uh, her memoirs, which are going, they, they go on to state that, you know, so he got the lawsuits against him, and now the memoirs came out, and he, there, he cheated on her, he beat her, and the parties. She participated in them, she watched them, she watched them record them in her memoirs. Andy, we got a quote from the memoirs. Some of the tapes I would have never expected, she said. She went on to say the gay parties, the young boys, the two young hip-hop stars. And we all know who, and we all we we all know who she's referring there to there. Okay, the two young hip hop stars that we know. Okay, and uh, the white eighteen ish year old pop star Justin Bieber Bieber. <coughs> I mean, come on, the memoirs pretty swell, pretty uh, spell it out. The rumors <coughs> have been <laughs> swirling long before Kim came out with her memoirs. Okay, remember the 1999? I mentioned that, Andy. The 1999 shooting uh, out the side of the nightclub with J Lo, Jennifer Lopez, and now that the, uh, all this stuff out is, you know. Now that this is all out, you know, I can't look at Jennifer Lopez the same way ever again. You know, I mean, if you look at the dates, you look at the timelines, you look at the charges, you look at everything that's going on with Diddy and, 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 and Cassie, and, you, and you're looking at, at, at memoirs, and on Jennifer Lopez, I can't look at her the same way. You know she was at the parties, too, because they were going on at that time. Okay, um, he's in big trouble. He's like never getting out of trouble, never getting out of jail again kind of trouble. And the fallout, Jesus, just, just, just beginning, you know, in the next week or so. Even after we come off air at, at 8.30 or so, by 10, by noon today, there's probably going to be named Chase. The names, the fallouts, just, just beginning. The feds have boxes and boxes and boxes of tapes. And he taped everything. So the, two, the, the white pop star, the two young rappers, people we don't know, they're going to be all on tape. Who? Where's Jay-Z? I don't know where Jay-Z is. I, I'm wondering where the hell Will Smith is. I mean, that's the rumors, the rumors for years, Justin Bieber, uh, Will Smith, uh, JC's involved, yeah, so that now, you know, now that uh, names are going to be start, you know, it'd be like the Judas Priest song, some heads are going to roll, boom, 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 no shit, man, the names, A-list of Hollywood, you know, it's the same thing. It's Jeffrey Epstein all over again, kind of, don't you think? It's the same. Basically, it's the same thing, kind of. You know, it's a big list of names. It's a big list of Hollywood celebrities that partook. Uh, and now, 
uh, we realized that some of the people that were at Diddy's parties, a lot of people at Diddy's parties, were drugged, were were axed against their uh, will, uh, blackmailed, coerced, threats of violence. Yeah, it's different than Epstein, but still it's not different, you know. Um, you know. Yeah, yeah. People that weren't gay were forced to be in gay acts. Women that, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and so, yeah, the feds have already come out and say, we know this is kind of like Jeffrey Epstein. We you know that all eyes are on us. We can assure you that measures are, are uh, being taken uh, to make sure that there's no suicide. You know, right, Epstein. He didn't kill him. <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein did not kill himself. I do not believe so, in my personal opinion. Okay? So, um, yeah, but he's, the, the, the feds are sure that he's on a watch, that he's segregated from all, oh, jeez, he's a target. Oh, heck yeah. You know, it's a celebrity, a celebrity that's, you know, Making coercing people to engage in sexual and, and gay porn. Yeah, oh yeah, he's a target. It's already been out. Yep, yep, yep. So, you know, the feds are very aware that uh, they have another Jeffrey Epstein kind of. Well, you have different administrations too. One was the previous administration. Uh, this was this administration. Presidential speaking. Speaking. And do I think that has something to do with it, too? You bet your bippy I do. But that's another story again. Um, but, yeah, it, it, in all in all, the, the feds are aware. You know, they're aware that the public is watching. Um, I don't know how they're going to release the tapes. I mean, if they have tapes of people that were forced to do unconsensual acts, can they show those tapes to the public? No, but once they get in court, once, yeah, records are, it's going to be really interesting because we, like we say, we know a lot of names. I mean, I just threw names all through the podcast of people that are casual acquaintances of, 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 of Sean Diddy Combs and, and, are they on the list? Are they not on the list? Man. So, geez, this is going to be continuing, Andy. I mean, we, we, we've we touched what's going on. We brought you up to speed. But, geez, there's still lots, lots, lots to go. So, yeah. Yeah, the rumors have been around for years. Before he was dating Jennifer Lopez in 99. The record label was that, and there was other shit going on. He's always been involved in everything. I don't think you'll ever see the light of day. I do not. So, brought you up to that. Speed, Saturday night. Michael Shea's funny. Andy, we're done. We are done. So, have a great, great, great September, Monday the 23rd. We are out of here until next week. Andy, we're done. We are done. Remember, everybody, you got to spay and neuter, okay? Got to adopt. Don't shop. Foster. Rescue. Volunteer. And come on. Go out and adopt a shelter pet today. Until next Monday, until next Monday, we are out of here.